if you provide your lowest point your middle ground and your high end you never let anyone take you lower than your low as far as your numbers go i ain't even try to make that rhyme but it do good morning guys so today is january the wednesday january the 27th i cannot remember when i picked this up last i think this is my first time picking it up at all this week um, I got a little bit of footage on my phone when I was at the gym for you all. What I'm thinking about doing for a vlog this week instead, I probably post a poll to ask you all if y'all want the budgeting video style of a vlog or if you all want um, the YouTube advice type of like lights, camera, action, details, things like that. So I'll see which one you all want. I'm gonna probably start doing that kind of stuff whenever I don't do weekly vlogs so I can still give y'all content. But I'm getting ready to trash all of the products from my product empties video. Uh, I'll link it if y'all haven't seen it yet, but I'm gonna go ahead and keep the candles. In the video I had mentioned to you all how I poured the hot water or the boiling water in there to get out the rest of the wax so I can still ooh, use it in my wax notes because these candles smell really good so I want to kind of use them for that purpose but everything else I'm about to trash it. I think about keeping this spigot span bottle so I can pour some of my, you know how you have to dilute the cleaners, these right here. Ugh. That way I'll just already have a bottle to put this in. This is the Mr. Clean since you have to mix it anyway. So I may hold on to this for that. Uh, someone recommended that you could freeze these. I don't see how putting my candle in the freezer would make this wax come out. Not only that, I have food in my freezer and this is glass. Glass would pop if you put it in the freezer. Now when you put a soda in there and you forget to take it out and it pops everywhere. I just pictured that when I was reading the comment. If anyone else has tried that, let me know. But when I read that, I don't see how that would make this wax come out. So I will not be trying that in my freezer. It may ruin the food. <laughs> but thank you for the recommendation. Pouring the hot water in here just makes it flow right to the top. So I got my water boiling already since I want to make some tea. And then everything else will be trash. If you all want to see what's in my trash, but I'm not about to go through it again. This bag is like so greasy. So I'm going to have to throw it out. But I started with another bag of empties. Cause a lot of y'all was like oh my god i remember these kinds of videos and y'all was saying how y'all like them so for everyone that has left comments so far thank you all for the positive feedback y'all have been giving me on that video and i'm knowing me i probably put an overlay pouring the water in here since i'm just rambling about nothing plus it makes the video shorter when you can double up what you're saying with what you're doing editing heck I think I may do like the Edison video, like the YouTube style video this week instead of like a regular around the house vlog. I think that will be cool. If y'all like my natural hair, um, I am back curly now. So check out my curly to, I mean straight to curly routine. Every time I've gotten into the shower, I wanted to just put my head under the water and just start washing my hair. And I was like, don't do that, Destiny. If you don't have the camera in here, they're gonna be mad at you. <laughs> a lot of people wanted to know if your curls will come back after you straighten out your hair. So yeah, of course, they do. Never regret your mistakes. Admire the courage it took to attempt the unknown. I love this one so much. This is just a really, really, really nice one. So this is what I'm drinking this morning. And then I just added in a honey spoon. This is from Amazon. You can also get the tea on Amazon. The mug is from, but I think it's from Walmart. It just says enjoy every moment. And if you all like the way the lighting looks on that scene just now, I'm just using one of my new, newer <laughs> lights. This one is quicker to grab to bring in the kitchen or just any other room than my ring light. Cheese toast, bacon, and eggs. And of course, it's the vibe for me. Got my candle lit. Little video chat action going on for Netflix. I should've went live to ask y'all for some recommendations, but I think I can just pick something. I'm probably gonna be right here all day until I decide to start editing um, a YouTube video. Even then, my laptop is just right here so I could just grab it. I already got my charger in here. I think it's not in here. I love this sound. Da -doom. <laughs> It's number four in the US. I put on the screen what I watched and if I recommend it and my score for the movie. I always 
just need the subtitles if I'm eating because I don't be able to hear that good. My ears be so loud, hearing, my, hearing me chew. <laughs> For real. Something to pop off, I can tell. They got gas masks and everything. The vanilla and pink papaya fragrance. And also some new bulbs. The Eco Smart Daylight Bulbs. Okay, so I just got out of the shower. This is what I'm getting ready to have. The Lean Cuisine Shrimp Alfredo. I want to show you all before I get to the stir step what it looks like. And it looks really good. I've never had a Lean Cuisine before. Y'all know I be ordering on Instacart now. So when you scroll any type of website, you always see things that you did not know existed. And I'm about to watch Snowfall. The times that I'm picking this up makes it seem like I've done nothing all day. I mean, I kinda have not, but. Oh yeah, I'm just listening to Vicky Logan online uh, she's on instagram live right now oh my hair be so fluffy after my shower i love it my food is done let's watch snow Ich der Spleh. my mask on it's because my mom is over here <laughs> let me just take it off i didn't mean it like that i just meant that what I click, on it? click to upload it mom Oh, I'm sorry. Here, I be trying to help my mama do her YouTube stuff, y'all. I be trying to get her to the point where I'm not explaining the same. Stay now, you level up on the game. We have uploaded a video together before. Yeah. You should know how to do that part now. We should be learning something else. So right click it, click upload videos. And then you can either drag oh. and drop it there, you can select the file, See. or you can drag and drop. That's it right there, the 10 minute. minute thing. Then you're just gonna let that run. Then I'll tell you what to do next after Choose that. to upload? Yeah. You didn't say that. <laughs> Cause if, if it say either choose, if your two options are choose to upload or cancel, if you know you're trying to put it on YouTube, which of the two can you not select? Stop, okay now, next, there. <laughs> Stop playing with I ain't me. built for this. <laughs> no, it's not made for kids. Oh, okay. Do you want your comments turned off? Oh, no for kids. That's all that I check on this thing. Next right what now. I was doing, I am only got two minutes left on my car to speak. I got an email from Fashion Nova. We're not gonna get too excited yet because I don't know if I'll be working with them. But I got an email from Fashion Nova. They want to work with me and I'm getting ready to send them over. They asked for my Instagram demographics and insights, and then they also asked for my YouTube demographics and insights. I'm using Social Blue Book if you all want to check that out. Um, I think there is a fee for it, but it basically grabs all of my information for me. Once I log into my Instagram on that site and once I log into my YouTube on that site, it puts everything in there for me. So if a company says, hey, send us your demographics, send us your insights, and basically the information that it's gonna give them age, of the people that subscribe to me. So my largest audience, YouTube tells me my largest is ages 25 to 34. 
92% female, different countries that you all are in. And it also tells me what I can charge as well. It's, it'll give you your low end, your high end for Instagram, particularly, let's say someone DMs me and say, hey, Destiny, can you put this on your story? Based on my current numbers for these followers right here, this is what I could basically charge someone if they want me to post something on my Instagram story for 24 hours. Like a favorite is shout outs or anything. If someone made a reel that they want me to share or if a company wants me to work with them, then that would be that number. I don't know how too particular people get kind of iffy when you show numbers, so I try not to do those kinds of things. Basically, that's what this site is. It shows them also my engagement rate. On average, how many likes I get on my Instagram posts, same thing with YouTube, just all of that kind of information. It compiles it for me so that I don't have to do it. And then there's literally a share button. I copy and paste the share button into the email and tell them, hey, here are my demographics. So the reason I said not to get too excited too soon when you share your demographics and what the site recommends the brand may pay you, it depends. So if somebody goes way towards the lower end and you like, oh no. <laughs> for example, let's say, let's just take $100 for an example. And they say, okay, we see that the site says 100 but we want to give you $2 or we want to give you $20. So then it's up to you to decide. You see what I'm saying? So yeah, I'll keep y'all updated though on whatever happens, maybe. I probably deleted the brand's name out. I don't know if I like to do those kinds of things or not. But either way, that's what I'm doing. I'm trying to fix it. I ain't do my hair today talking about fixing. I, <laughs> I had a high end here. and a low end. Oh. I mistakenly entered like a minimum number. I thought if you put a minimum number right there, it would that it would not move my high and my low. And now I can't put that back, so they're only singing one number for YouTube, and I don't want that. I want them to see what my low is, all the way up to the high, not just the minimum number, you see what I'm saying? Because the minimum was a middle ground between my high and my low. That probably makes no sense. <sighs> I didn't mess it up for my Instagram, I messed it up for my YouTube. And I have way more followers on my YouTube, so that's where it needs not to be messed up at. <laughs> oh God, okay. Oh my God, how I fix this? All right, let's try to edit right here. That's what I need to fix my about me section. So my about me needs to also be updated right here. Whoa, my phone number on that. Don't wanna forget, okay. My about me section. I have an about me on YouTube, so basically I'm going to go into my about me section, copy and paste it. I want to be a little more detailed, especially since I'm sending this link directly to them, because they're going to be able to see this whole little, basically it's like a media kit. If a company ever asks you for a media kit, that's what this is. And this website makes it for me without me having to put all my numbers in and go write down female this, male that. They live here, blah, 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 so. So when I go over here to my YouTube, and you can just open all your tabs at once. I try to include random different things in my vlogs. I never know what interests you all the most, so I can get by the feedback. So I'm gonna copy my About Me, and y'all will see this too, like if y'all went to my page and you clicked the About tab, that's what's right here. So by copying this, I'm gonna just hit Command C. Carefully, Destiny, take your time, sis, cause you keep showing important stuff. I'm gonna paste it. I don't have to use all of it. So based on the characters that I have available, I'm gonna tweak it a little bit, but I at least don't have to type it all the way from scratch. I just noticed my About Me section needs to be updated because I tweaked it a little bit, so now I'm down to 458 characters. It still says I share lifestyle and college vlogs. It needs to only say I share lifestyle vlogs because I'm not in college anymore. So I need to go and update that. Okay, now we tweaked it a bit. All right, I decided to delete YouTube altogether. I should have screen recorded. It would have made this easier. But it's quicker because sometimes I lose stuff and forget to put it in the vlog if it's not directly on my camera. So I deleted YouTube and now I'm just gonna basically put it back. I'm taking it off since this is showing my info, but basically I'm just selecting my YouTube channel and I'm allowing the access. Then after that, I think, since I messed with my numbers, yes, it's back. Okay, so it's showing my low all the way to my high and it gives a suggested price per post. What the company can also do when I send them this, I'm gonna scroll down a little bit so that you all don't see it. Different numbers that will pop up uh, based on if I've selected a dedicated video, dedicated photo, you would have a different price for your reels, you would have a different price for your story. If y'all watch Instagram stories a lot, then you've seen where uh, influencers may just do like a little 24 hour story post for a brand. It really just depends on what the company is asking you for. But as I select this, these numbers behind here will change. So right under here, that's my low end. You kind of don't want to go below that because then it's just like if the brand can see what the lowest rate is that they can pay you, 
and then they want to go lower than that it's just like excuse me and then the middle right here is your suggested price based on these numbers it's what social blue book suggests that you accept or suggest what your um, suggested price per post is and that number changes as I click on these different ones as well and then you have your highest end like if you know getting close to the max of what um, a person could receive based on their numbers the numbers will be different for each person your followers your engagement your likes all of that and then there's also another one um, so there's one for YouTube as well it shows me all of my my analytics demographics and as I change this right here, so you have a dedicated video and a product shout out, these numbers will change for that as well. I don't want to scroll up. It's right above this um, type of sponsorship. So depending on what a brand will want from me, that's how I can let them know like, okay, this is what that's going to be. And this changes month to month. I could just come up here and refresh my values and it'll update because my YouTube numbers do change all the time. Based on your subscriber count, views, watch minutes, all of that which plays a part in um, this portion. I think I mentioned to y'all before how not all YouTube videos are the same. Like sometimes y'all will see us put something at the beginning for one to two minutes, three to four minutes, or the entire video will be about that specific sponsored thing, kind of like hair tutorials. So it really just depends based on what they choose to pay for out of your options. So when I send them this link, they can decide if they want the video to be all about their product, which would be dedicated. That number is usually higher. Or you would have a shout out, which is like, okay, plug me into your weekly vlog or plug me into a clean with me or whatever for X amount of minutes. And that one is a little bit lower, but it's still a sponsorship. And then you still determine what those numbers are. So I just fixed it by doing that now. Like I said, this is Social Blue Book. It used to be free, I think. <laughs> they charge for it now, but it's cool. It's a good site. It's worth paying for for me because it's less work on my end once you get everything set up. It's super quick to send your analytics um, when different brands ask for it. So I'm gonna share this with them now. If you all see me work with, I won't say the brand yet, I guess, cause it's probably not. If y'all see me working with a specific popular clothing brand that a lot of people work with, it means we decided to work together. <laughs> More or less, I'll say that. Cause sometimes when you see your numbers, people try to you discuss your numbers and things like that to where you come to an acceptable number, but you never wanna let someone take your $20 and say I'll give you two type of thing you see what I'm saying so keep those kinds of things in mind because a lot of people do YouTube and they want free stuff free stuff free stuff but when you want YouTube to be your I guess source of income and things free stuff just don't yes, pay me so basically I told y'all I was saying I said what I said in 2021 so if you want my help with things I can't beat around the bush too much to help you out but I hope that was it I guess that's my little YouTube behind the scenes type of segment today most times um some days it's not really filming videos it's just doing this kind of stuff behind the scenes which still means I'm working on YouTube things just not necessarily a filming day or editing day just kind of like downtime with I guess what I would call the boring stuff maybe this is more so the important stuff before you even get to the actual content if that makes it I don't know it's just different still working on YouTube just in a different type of way so I'll check back with you all when something else is going on when I probably comb my hair for today sometimes I'll shower up and get dressed and all of that but if no one can see me and I'm working from behind my screen that's another thing I love like it doesn't matter how I look because nobody can see me unless I'm talking to y'all <laughs> but if I'm emailing somebody I can do that from my bed while I'm cooking you see what I'm saying like however you just make it work for you as long as you get it in at some point in your day to get it finished let me know um if this kind of info helps you all so that I'll at least know like okay they weren't feeling this don't talk about that again yes we want more of this because it really helps us like I'm all about if it helps y'all I want to help you all with that sort of thing and that's that <laughs> okay finish sending that so now we're just gonna see what's up. We're gonna see what's up. <laughs> so I'm done with my tasks for today. Now I'm going to go ahead and show you all a little bit behind the scenes of helping my mom do some things with her channel. Tags, title, thumbnail. Like a wig you call a hairstyle Now it's a headband wig, so you're gonna put headband wig. I'm saying what you make it? Nah, it's not a 10 minute easy hairstyle. Nah, it's not a 10 minute easy hairstyle. It's a hairstyle calls a wig. Uh, mm, let me think on it, hold on. Basically, also, what I was gonna say, just don't let nobody pull you lower than your low end. If you provide your lowest point, your middle ground, and your high end, 
you never let anyone take you lower than your low as far as your numbers go. I ain't even trying to make that rhyme, but I do. <laughs> the title of your video is going to oh, be, you know, um... I need to show that there's a wig on that front of it too, though. What you mean, Ma? You can put a before and after. That could be a thumbnail. The way your hair was looking all over your head, like and then the neater look that you got would be the. You don't have to screenshot that. You can do that from your laptop and pull out the pictures from within the project. You skim through when you see the one you like. If you right click it, it says add freeze frame. The freeze frame is just another word for a picture. Then you make that into your thumbnail. I would scroll through and look for something that I want. I'm going to just use this as an example. Obviously, I wouldn't use this as my thumbnail. But when I right-click this, this is iMovie, by the way. Um, it says add freeze frame. When I click that, it's going to turn it into a picture, basically, for me to use as a thumbnail. If I don't want to do it that way, I can also come up here. And wherever my cursor, this little thing, wherever this currently is, see where it's yellow at right here? And then I click save current frame. I can do it that way as well. This is an example. And I would just hit save current frame. Why is it freezing like that? <sighs> All right. And so then basically I would title it. Um, example. Boom. Make note of where you're sending it to. That turns it into a picture. And then from there, the pictures are able to be used as my thumbnail. If you don't use that option, um, sometimes I'll just take photos or occasionally I'll pose for a photo. Kind of like. Let me show you all within this vlog something that I did. I deleted the portion of me doing it because it looks kind of crazy in the vlog. But where is it? Okay, bear with me. I don't feel like re-editing this, so it's just going to run. So when I, when I finished my breakfast, basically, I turned the camera. I'm going to stretch this clip back out to show you all. I turned it sideways so that I could use it. See that? I just kind of quickly turned my camera sideways and I just held it still for a moment like that. So now, once I find where it's really focused in, I can right-click that and click Add Freeze Frame. And then when I get ready to make my thumbnail, which you all probably see, I'll be sure to include this picture on this video for you all. When I click Add Freeze Frame like that, it turns it into a photo for me. Just remember to delete that out of your vlog because um, it'll just be frozen for a while. Like, save it and then take that part out. But the better option is to come up here and just click save current frame and it turns it into a photo. But like I said, that looks crazy for the vlog. So it's just something that I did. But when I edit, I personally just know to remove that portion. That's why sometimes when I say, oh, let me pose for the thumbnail. Because it's hard to pull out clips, especially in a vlog. It's very hard to just sit here and skim through all of this and try to find something worth using. So keep that in mind when you're vlogging, that you want something for your thumbnail. But don't have the video just constantly looking like you're posing for thumbnails the whole time, if that makes sense. If you get the laptop, I can show you, but you don't have to do that from the phone. Unless you took the specific pictures that I took of your finished product, that'll be one of the pictures. But the before picture, I would use that one where your hair all over your head. That draws people in. So for some reason, that kind of thumbnail I always do good. Right. Okay. Oh, Sunny just dropped 15 curly hair essentials for healthy hair. I need to watch this. Period. I hope y'all like and enjoy this kind of content. I'm hoping to receive positive feedback on it because I do need to do my series type of stuff. Or I guess this will be like day in the life of an influencer type of thing. Yeah, that'd be good. Ooh, that's what we're going to do with this content. My hands going to be in the way we should. No, when you, when you turn it into a collage, it don't matter because it's going to shrink it anyway. A little bit. I'll just show you what I mean. So you just gonna right click. This is what you want to use. You like that? You say them can do good on this. The point is just pulling out something when your hair looks like this. Okay. Where you started, maybe a middle ground or where you're about to end. Oh, okay. Sometimes showing the very beginning and the very end don't do well. It just depends. You have to play around with it. Turn off the audio skimming. Because you two just, it depends. People just That's pick one. what they like. You point to your camera so much that it's hard for you to get something. Uh -huh. You just have to remember when you're recording to say, oh, I need a thumbnail. That means while your hair was looking like this, for two or three seconds, you could have just looked dead into the camera without. Thumbnail. No. Oh. That's when I say thumbnail and you just stand there so that oh. you have it. Oh. That way, when I'm skimming through here, all I got to do is right, quick, right click to pull it out. Oh. That'll be good. This is good. 
But look at my face. It doesn't matter. It's, the point is not to look as cute as you possibly <laughs> can all the time. <laughs> On YouTube, you're going to look crazy sometimes oh. a little bit. That's how that works. Okay. The point is, I look like this right now, but it's an after comment. This is a trans. When you do your hair online, that's a transformation. I'm just looking shocked. Ma, you go. All right, okay. go with this then. It's now hard I'm to find there. a point okay. where you're not in your, where you're not in the way. That's what okay. I'm telling you. Okay. okay. You just skim through and find it. You just scroll around a lot. That's what you do. See. You working with your hair the whole time. So you're doing something the oh, whole time, okay. so you just have to skim through and pick something. Okay. That you like. It ain't that. It's not, okay. don't, stop saying okay, I'm so sad, Yeah! <laughs> Somebody come get her. Shakana. Woo! Both of us, boy, I need to see Don't hire me. Okay, all right. <laughs> People ask me it all the time, could I do mentoring and can they pay me? I'd rather do a free video. I don't want it. I don't even want to get paid to do this, love. <laughs> this ain't for me, love. Come on, girl. I'm outside, give a thing. Oh, go right there when You're I was getting... really stressed out. Go ahead, get it. Okay. Get it. <laughs> Not for real, because I be scrolling and you don't be letting me do it. Go, go, go. Go, go ahead. No. You will never learn if I do it every time. Yeah. For real. Come on. I'm going to help you pick the picture. I'm helping you pick it, but scroll. You okay, help me pick the picture. Skim. I don't know what picture. Don't I'll let be. people set you up. They'll be like, oh, show me. I don't know how to, how you use a mop. I don't know how to do it. And you'll be the mop and show the whole, how you mop the whole house. And they just pretending like they watching you. No. Now that looking crazy, huh? You're going to come up here. You got two options. You can right click and click freeze frame. Or now they've updated it. Save current frame. You're going to title it just something like before hair. You literally only need this temporarily for this moment, so it don't matter what it is. Just as long as you know what it's titled to go get it later. Now, where's your after photo? I sent it to you. Why you send it to me? To your phone. You finna make well, a thumbnail. To to, oh, I drop it here. You gonna use Pixar or something? Get, send it to me, I'll show them. They, they on there. In my, Just oh, send it to so me, I'll show them. They already sent it to you. I'll send it to you. Please do not lose this screen recording that you are about to do, Destiny. <laughs> She's gonna send me the pictures to my phone. I already I'm gonna send them to you. How to make a quick I already sent the ones you sent. This. Said. I need that before shot. You need this? Yes. Where well, am I gonna send you that? <laughs> Put your hands on the computer and I'm gonna show you how to do it. First off, yes, I do got food in my house. Okay. I hate this new update they got too. The way you Bluetooth stuff used to be quicker than this. Right click. Come on, dang. Then you're gonna select send files. Come on, yeah, I like to sound like you'll do me. Right click Destiny. Oh, why am I clicking it? Come on, uh -uh, download. Uh -uh. Select Destiny's Galaxy S9 to send it. Sometimes you have to do it twice. This is a shot that my dad just brought me. Oh, great. You see what she doing? Suja immunity rebound shot. So the folks her dad did my home. My dad just brought me a shot, <laughs> baby. Shot. It's 2021. I don't clarify no misunderstanding Ooh. people have. Great, that camera on. <laughs> yeah, that's strong. Huh? Girl, you ain't said it to me yet. I did hear it said. It was said. You gotta connect to the device. Then when you could connect it to the device, you send to the device. Now it's gonna pop up over here. I'm not really trying to wait on my phone to uh, focus in and everything, so I'm gonna hit accept. Now, what I'm gonna do, start the screen recording so you can put it on the screen, Destiny. Don't lose it. She I screen record stuff for y'all then start oh, cleaning my phone up. Hello, what? A video? Oh, I got media and mic on here. Okay, whatever. I'm gonna just do it. Huh? Pixar is free. They got the paid features that you can use. Um, I try to just use free stuff when I can. If we're trying to save money, you don't want to be spending your money when free apps exist. Unless the app is worth you paying for because it has really, really, really good features that you need. Kind of like Social Blue Book. That's in my way count. Okay, so I'm going to click next. Then I'm going to change the ratio to what I need for YouTube, which is 16 by 9. I'm going to click to remove the border around it. And then just start playing around with these pictures. This is the easiest way to build a thumbnail that doesn't require you erasing and moving things. And then if you want to get fancy. Get fancy. And then I'm going to change the font so y'all can see it better. I'm going to add a little bit of this to it. I'm going to put it here. Add the same little thing so that they kind of match. They don't have to match. I could do a different color if I. Oh, I like this. You could bend it if you want and stuff too. Depends. Sometimes I do that with my vlogs. I did that a lot during Vlogmas. Kind of turn it up because you have to keep in mind it's big because we're looking at it. But on YouTube, thumbnails are small like that. Save that. 
Hold on, is it still running? Okay, it's still running. This probably isn't the best option for me to give y'all an example on how to make thumbnails because I didn't do much to this one. I won't say that because for some people, even the simplest steps like this is a lot. I'm trying to see my forehead. Hence, <laughs> me helping her. <laughs> Alright, you don't like that one? Take that I'm out. I'm to see my forehead. Because it looks a little... It looks a little uh, it's like I ain't got no edges. It does. that will also be a reason people will click. You know, and I always have to look the cutest okay. on your thumbnails. Keep that in mind. Sometimes people will click for other reasons. I'm just going to hit save to gallery. Then I'm gonna go back into my gallery. I may edit this part a little bit depending on what pops up and send it back to her computer. And then it's gonna pop up. That's her computer. If you have a hard time Bluetooth and something, send it to your email and just open it that way and then save it to the computer. But what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna send it back to her phone and just let her do it herself. Oh. Do you have the YouTube studio? If you have the YouTube studio app, you can go straight into the app and put that on your thing. Ooh, let me stop this screen recording because it's too long already. Do you have the photo? Oh, you said something to me. Yep. Uh, not what I need to do. And it's also good since I made it for her in order for her to advertise it on her Facebook if she wants to tell her Twitter. Don't send it to me. Why are you sending it to my laptop? I'm logged into my YouTube. Send it to your laptop. Okay. But by also having a copy of it on your phone, um, y'all ask me about promoing a lot. I don't care when I had zero subscribers, even now with me having 282,000 subscribers. I literally, when a new video is on my page, I'm going to put it on my Instagram story. I'm putting it on my Man, personal Facebook page. I'm tweeting about it because I'm not looking for other people to do that for me. I'm working this for me. Does that make sense? YouTube picked the ugliest little thumbnails ever. <laughs> Basically, she's just gonna come into here. I'm trying not to do it without her no noticing because I want you to know next time without my help. Okay. You're gonna click the thing, that pencil where it says details. Okay. Detail. When you hover over it, it always tells you what it is. Now, right there, it says upload thumbnail. Uh huh. You're gonna click, click that. If this seems like it's a lot, it's because it is. Now you gotta find where we saved it. And I think I put it on the documents. So click documents. Choose for upload. Now you hit save. Now you still gotta work on your description and your title too, cause you ain't did that yet. <laughs> I ain't tell you sign up for YouTube. You did that on your own behalf. Don't look at me like that. <laughs> she like, ooh. What you got to say? <laughs> Got to do one you need to work on your descriptions and your tags. I actually got a better program for that on mine. No, at least I go and get the link since I was told you about her. Yeah, you always want to link because I watch people all the time. They say I'm a link such and such, and then they don't yeah, link that's such and such. Said, said that's not the most important part though. You focus on that later. You can link on oh, later. Everything else yeah. you need. So you come here to YouTube and you type in hey. When I put in 10 minutes, a lot of them came up. I know, this is what you do when you're trying to create your title for YouTube. These words don't just pop up just to pop up. This is what, when you type in headband wig, uh -huh. what people are searching for. But I want 10 minutes in it. Those are individual searches, bear with me. Okay. When you type in headband wig, these are the types of things people search. Headband hairstyles, headband review, headband my first wig, that's a company. Amazon styles, do it yourself. Headband if do you, it yourself. Headband wig, if you type in 10 minutes, you see how it's getting shorter now with that? Uh -huh. People don't attach the time onto it that much. So if you put the time on there, that would mean that you're using that as a way to draw people in, not necessarily your main keyword. Your main keyword well, you put is headband wig. That could be in the front, but it's not. If you put in 10 minutes, these are the types of things people search. Headband and come up. And if you put headband with it, nobody's associating the two together. Okay. It don't mean you can't use that as a title, it just means you gotta do it in a catchy type of way. If it was my video, I would put, get ready with me. Get ready with me. It's a transformation, you can kind of go with hair transformation because that's a keyword. It's the keyword type of things people search for, hair transformation. And you can just open the tab to check that and see. So when I type in hair transformation, a lot of that is popping up. You can type it in on your computer to see what I mean. Uh, it's not focusing, but y'all get the point. So you could go with Get Ready With Me, Headband Wig Hair Transformation. Or you could do the kind of persuasive, uh, negative advertising thing that people do. What? Is the headband wig worth the hype? What's up with this headband wig? That kind of thing. You're still, it's not in the title saying that you don't like it, but it sparks curiosity to get it 
viewed. Are there any that's different are, are they, does anybody have search anything like dirty hair? Dirty hair? Yeah. No, that's not a yeah, people search dirty hair, but when it comes to a title, you're not putting like dirty hair oh, headband okay. with like that that's not it's, Ooh, it's you wanna dirty. use bigger cat. I told you you've been here a long time long working time. on this. I told you you've been here a long time working Come on, on. just help me. I got clothes <laughs> in my drawer. It ain't about when we do YouTube, it's never about just help me just hurry up and finish it. If I don't walk you through this ever, you never learn without my help. Girl, I remember. You not. You not. When you I put be, in, she'll I be put back in, tomorrow. No, no. Post again. A post again. I put it. Are headband wigs mom friendly? If you want to start branding oh, your channel. Headband wig mom friendly. Look how she's mad. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. If you want to start branding your channel, your, like your angle is that you're a mom trying to do head bad wig. Your older mom, I guess. Head bad, head bad wig. It's gray hair friendly. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's mom friendly. Mom friendly. That's so I don't mom like the way that sounds. <laughs> she laughing at me. I said 50 plus. You're meaning 50 plus, 50 plus years old. Mom tries a headband wig. Dot dot dot. Is it easy or must watch or it's easy for the first it's time? Easy. Something like that. For the first time, that's that's something yeah, that that's why all the women photo. googling it. That's uh -huh. what I'm saying. You gotta know your angle I'm for about your the channel. Brand right there. there you go. If you're gonna start there building go. yeah. a brand, know your angle for yeah, your there channel. You go. Steals her daughter's headband wig. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't put that in a long line, I'm I would go line. with it's easy. You're giving away ah. you're giving away the fact that you can do it. Oh okay. it's not clickbaiting, it's leaving to the imagination what happens in the video. Okay. If I tell you the beginning and the end to a Marvel movie and the title so of the Marvel it's movie, easy, I think. you don't need to go to the movies to see it. We'll think of it that way. Out. Okay, we'll take it out. Uh, 50 plus mom tries a headband wig. So then you could also put hair transformation because that's the main keyword. We're going to work on her description, then we're done because I'm out of space officially on this card. <laughs> I know it's going to end on me in a second. Thank you, Disney. Yeah, huh? Sure. Just just keep in Thank mind that this don't take two seconds when you do it. I've just found that out. Okay, then. 